Hello everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Today we're taking a look at Chingling, which has the most annoying cry ever. Um, it really does. It is the pre evolved form of Chingling and uh, Shang Chimeca, my god, I cannot speak. And we're gonna take a look at today. It is the fairy type, actually. Um, I actually want to know. Check something. What moves does it have? Well, I should check that earlier. Uh, Growl, Astonish, Confusion. Ooh, not bad moves. And Yawn. I met Damon Herald as like, Hawk the Herald sing glory to the newborn king, but it didn't work out. I love how it balances. That's really cool. I love that. I love when Pokemon have some unique movements. Like with Lapras, where Lapras just, um, floats and then torpedoes towards you. It's awesome. Hi, Shadow. Shadow. See the weirdest freaking cry. It moves its tongue around like Satan itself. So yeah. Um, how are everyone doing? We're doing alright. Um, working on things in life and it's ever ever deteriorating me in existence because uh, it's just how I roll. All joking aside, that is how I roll. Um, and again, all joking aside, it's that how I roll. I don't like making jokes about that, but she's like, that's just kind of how I roll. It, it really is. Um, I'm actually curious if anyone who wants to battle, like maybe you. No, the girl with the big cleave is just one battle. That's a shame for everyone on the internet. Uh, let's see, yeah, maybe uh, I, every conversation with maybe this girl is not a great conversation to start. Anywho. Uh, what's been going on with the world? Uh, I don't know, because I've been living in a cave for a couple of days. Actually, when I'm really, what I normally do, I think this is a good idea for anyone. When you wake up, the first thing you should really do is, like, find a new source. That's what I do. Oh, really? Now you want to battle? I see how it is. Um, I, like, love my phone. I just, like, go on Twitter, because I'm like, oh, there's going to be, like, some game announcement or something. They're like, they're finally going to announce the Nintendo Direct, and they don't. And then I'm like, oh, well, that sucks. So, yeah. Um, what else has been... Um, so, yeah, that's what I do in the morning. I do that, and last night I was, like, looking, and they're like, oh, rumor that Cal Kestis show is going to be on. It's like, I have not played Fallen Order. That might be my maybe the fourth game instead of like, the Star Wars Complete Saga. Uh, the Skywalker Saga, sorry. As much as it'd be fun to do that game, I feel like I put off um, Fallen Order for so long. Um, is that even funny? Like, that came out the same time as um, Pokemon Sword and Shield, and I haven't played it at all. I feel like I should give it due, and also I have the DLC for like one of the skins for the uh, robot. But uh, there's also a Lego set for it. I think it'd be cool if they did adapt it. Um, if they didn't, I understand why, but I'm just like, I think they should maybe adapt. Mm. Because it's heavily, like, implied slash told that it's not the same Inquisitor as the second sister. And it's also a question if it's canon or not, but that's up for someone who's higher paid than me to know. Um, so I am actually looking forward to a bit of a break in the upcoming days so I can just work on some of this content and don't have to be like, Oh boy, I'm mean, working until like midnight tonight, which I normally do anyway, uh, because um, the Star Wars reaching its end. We're already have more than halfway through at this point. Um, I don't hate it. I thought the stuff with the genies was stupid. She's like, oh, we're going to be genies. She's like, yeah, because someone decided to do that. Yay. I really hope someone like looks at Miss Marvel, like someone from Marvel needs to look at Miss Marvel and be like, hey, we got a writing problem. And then they're going to be like, what writing problem? We're perfection. Look at this 97% on Rotten Tomatoes, a website that no one really uses for uh, film criticism. Sorry, that's a quick tangent about Rotten Tomatoes. Rotten Tomatoes is horrible and this kind of stuff. Unless they get really right. It's odd because they have these weird things like, oh, they're really wrong, but sometimes they're really right. You're gonna throw a rock at me. Destroy a little bell. Yeah, Chingling is meant to be like, oh, like, Chingling, like the bell. That was a really bad attempt at humor on my part, but got the point. Uh, so, yeah, I'm to be defeated. Uh, I've actually, I do have a max post I can use in theory. And you are confused too. Great. You might actually hit yourself. 
Why are you hitting yourself? 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 Why should I use my seer post on this just because I don't want to faint? I might actually build some friendship points, I guess you could say. Uh, I hate friendship as a game mechanic in Pokemon. I think it's awful. But I would honestly like to see how Taimako plays. He's not fairy type, so... Actually, it's psychic. If it was fairy, I'd be surprised. Honestly, he's confused. He's fine. Okay. You wrap some rings about you shang chi me. Actually, I was reading some stuff about shang chi They're reinventing the shang chi comic book franchise, which I'm okay with. Um, it's what he calls shang chi and the Ten Rings, which I have no problem with. Um, I'm okay with them doing that to a degree. Um... I kind of want to get into Shang-Chi comics because the Shang-Chi movie was so good. Um, I, I like the Shang-Chi movie. It's really underappreciated. Uh, Most Life is a Madness on Disney Plus, which I still need to rewatch. I'm still wanting to rewatch Bell because uh, I like Bell. It's, it's a good show. It's a good movie, actually. And I've been rewatching a lot of movies that came out this year. Um, I kid you not, if you'd like to look at my letterbox account, which I encourage you to do, because then you know like what stuff I'm planning on reviewing down the line. I think it's always helpful to know what your um, what your film critics you follow YouTube are gonna do, because I think um, uh, I really hope Channel Awesome doesn't do the Batman review, because he's kind of been teasing like, just like, oh, I just hope that's a bit. I really don't want him to do the Batman, because. I already saw his thing on the Batman, and I really didn't watch his No Way Home thing. I think stuff works better when you talk about older stuff that you can kind of talk about. Like, he did Fifth Element. I didn't watch the whole thing of that. Uh, I do like Nostalgia Creator to agree, because I like hearing some more analytical talks. He did talk about Tombstone, which I was surprised by. Um, Tombstone is one of the few movies that I can't really get through, so I'm impressed that he got through it. Um, so, yeah. Uh... I mean, said when I was talking about reviews, I was like, oh god, come on. I was like, talking about Chimeco, and I was Chimeco was the purest Pokemon that James had. Oh my goodness, it was so cute. I love Chimeco. It was, it didn't deserve to be on his team, but it was so great. It was like right up there with Cassie. I think, now this is just me for the Pokemon anime, maybe just because I haven't watched much of the new episodes. Um, I think James's team peaked with um, Carnivine and Mr. M and Mime Jr. That's when it peaked, and then it went downhill, like, right after. Like, I, I like Weezing and um, Victory Bell. They're okay. I just don't really like Victory I like Weezing, but he got rid of Weezing. And then his replacement for Weezing was Chimeco. Who did he have in the home? It was Chimeco, right? It was Chimeco and Cacnea. And Cacnea constantly hugged him. We got rid of Cacnea. And then he got uh, Nine Junior. I think he did addition. Addition, and he got um, Carnivine. I couldn't find it for some reason. Actually, just Jesse had more Pokemon to her team than James ever did. Just think about it. Um, she had uh, Licky Tongue. Hi, Potter. She had Licky Tongue. She had Arbok. She had. Dust Stocks. She had Yana, which became Yana Mega. She had Wow Effect for the longest time, which is a good addition, I think. Because it's like, wow, about that. I loved Wow Effect. It was, it was surprisingly funny. I love that episode where um, Wow Effect, like, becomes the hero of a town. That was, like, a really good episode. Because you kind of love Wow Effect. Wow, about that. Anywho, where was I trying to thought? Wow. Um. She had Dust Ox. Um, I honestly can't tell you much of her Hoenn team. She had Dust Ox, but the Dust Ox went away because it went away in Sinnoh, so she mainly had Dust Ox. No, she has Surviper! How can I forget the Surviper? Because it was her replacement Arbok. Not you, Seal. Um, Weasel. And she had a. Uh, another Pokemon. No, in, in uh, Nova, because you know it was essentially a soft reboot. She got completely. Um, what did she have in Nova? That's a good question. Um, I know they had a Punkaboo and a Gora guy. 
Gorgeist is the Evolve form Pumpkin move. And Inky. But that was Kalos. Um, oh, it was Yan Mask. James had a Yan Mask. And I want Jesse to have well effect. But yeah. Um, they also had a Mimikyu, I think. And I. No, King had a Mimikyu. And James also caught that Torpexa thing. See, I do remember things. Uh, not the best memory, but I remember things. Yeah, Chimeka was, uh, Chimeka was too sweet, and I think, like, even the show knew that. She's like, oh, Chimeka. Because if you don't know the show, James is, like, born to royalty. Actually, he's Arcanine with great Pokemon. Um, uh, sorry, he's Growly. Growly. Um, one of my personal favorite episodes from Pokemon. I there's, oh, that mouth is so creepy. <laughs> Guys, that's really creepy. Like, there's no way to say it. it's creepy. Um, what is my least favorite. I don't know, Meowth is not hateable to a degree. Uh, because, you know, I don't hate him because he has a good backstory. I'm just like, cool, Meowth got a cool backstory, but at the same time, like, oh, Meowth got a backstory. <laughs> I want, I was, I was re-watching Detective Pikachu, and I was just like, this is what I kind of want for if they were in Detective Pikachu 2. Some guy with a thick Brooklyn accent, you know, like Meowth. Um, and his partner Pokemon, yeah, he gets transferred into the Meowth, Meowth body, and they don't switch back. And he's stuck in the Meowth body. And then he becomes Fire Team Rocket. I'm like, oh my goodness, that's great. Um, I know that's not gonna happen, because it's been three years, and there's, like, been no sequel announced, even though I remember them, like, distinctly saying, hey, we're planning on making more of these. And I'm just like, cool, what happens with those? <laughs> If Sonic can prove it to you, it's a financial endeavor. I'm still looking for that Knuckles show. I don't. I feel like at SCCC we'll get some news in like every Knuckles show is happening before Sonic 2 or not. Um. So yeah. I don't know. Paramount's kind of loose cannon sometimes. There's like, oh, well, well, you don't know yet. It's like cool. Um, SCC this year is gonna be so awesome yet weird. Marvel's not going to be there, so it's everyone else's time to shine. I mean, it was announced that Lord of the Rings is the ring of power, which I am already dreading. Oh my goodness, why am I filled with all this dread? Because he's like, I might have to maybe announce, like, hey guys, I'm going to wait till I'm out of the convention to review, review the first episode of um, the ring of power. I think that might be it. By the time I'm actively, like, free to, like, talk about the ring of power, Two episodes of the app, probably. I'll see what happens when we get there. But yeah, it's gonna be Hall H there. So yeah, and also there was like something with She-Hulk was promoted. So I think if anything, Marvel's gonna show the first episode of She-Hulk, and we'll get our, our first previews. I don't think they're gonna announce anything like Grand Vios because I think they're gonna say that for D23. They explicitly said that. I'm gonna post. Uh, I want you to dishonest by actually confusion. Actually, I think it's a psychic goat, when I think about it. I'm pretty wrong. I think Chai Mecha's psychic ghost, because it just fits. I know it's psychic. That's how the nail is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to look, because I'm actually curious. What type is it? Check summary. It's just psychic. Okay. I thought it'd be fairy psychic, but a lot of psychic type Pokemon were converted to fairy. So yeah, like Gardevoir was then it's now psychic fairy, making it more evil. Uh a lot of key Pokemon are meaning to fairy types, which I don't mind. I really does help control dragon types. Even though dragons are just dragon and dragon is against ice. Sorry, I had to move first, I can share my phone and I hurt my butthole. Oh that's more you need to know, but my tailbone hurts, so it just hurts to bend over sometimes. It's not as bad as like when I directly fell on my back, where it just hurt when I stood. But now it's just whenever I sit weirdly. Because weakness! Hey, you. We're gonna do two more battles and then we're gonna end this video with Chimeco because. Oh my god. Not Chimeco, Chingaling. Chingaling, I need to remember their names. See, there's so many Pokemon that it's like hard to remember. Boy um, Coco, um. I was gonna say talk about Boy Coco is gonna be one. Um, I I can't wait for more Scarlet and Violet news. Um, I hope they don't screw up the evolutions with Boy Coco. Um, 
Brigado and Quaxley. Um, the plot twist is I end up teaming Quaxley or Sprigato. Um, I think it'd be funny. This, they were just the two I did not gravitate to at all. Uh, Quay Coco was the only one. Just like I want to do, I want to use Quay Coco because Quay Coco looks like the Pokemon we you know, use. Like, I like Fire type Pokemon um, to a degree. The water's always been my type of choice. We'll do one more um, battle and then we're gonna end the part. Um, so tomorrow, not next tomorrow. I keep on saying tomorrow because I'm used to Fire Emblem three houses at this point. Next time will be. Happy which we kind of drank because we have to have a catch an egg. Um, it's, like, it's a gift. You get the egg, and then you go up, down, up, down, up, down. I'll probably play like some relaxing music. Oh, do that. We will use tail whip. Watch me whip. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know how to do that correctly. Defense spell, and it's time to use confusion. We're going to confuse this floating um, ferret. This floating weasel, if you will. A float soul, if you will. But it's not quite a float soul. It's, uh... I don't know what it is. It's an inner tube ferret. An inner <laughs> I'm having more time just making fun of weasel than I am, um, Harold, who I misspelled. Oh, yeah, we also have to look at the Pokedex entry, because, um... I promise that we start doing that again more in depth. Uh, I can remember its number. It's relatively early in the Pokedex. Uh, it has to be right up here or right after? Right after. Because it's in the cave. Hi, Grandos, Scrimpados. Best Bequeen. Probably just walked over and I didn't even notice. There it is. Chingling. Mm -hmm. It emits cries, agitating an ore that backs in the throat. It moves. With um, Pluja and Hops. Yes, it is. It does, and it's a great mover. I love this movement, which I think is the best movement in any Pokemon video. So, yeah, again, if you could like, comment, subscribe, it does help us out. We'll see you guys next time with Happy Me, which I am already dreading. Tell them, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys then. Bye bye. Oh, yeah. Um, this, that's not how we end the videos. We end it with this because we'd like to book our market. But anyway, tell them, bye bye.